Hello everyone and welcome to the introductory session on Python. In this session, we'll be going over some of the basic concepts of Python programming language. Python is a high-level, interpreted and general-purpose dynamic programming language that focuses on code readability. It has fewer steps than compared to Java and C. It was founded in 1991 by developer Guido Van Rossum. It is used in many organizations as it supports multiple programming paradigms. It also performs automatic memory management. Let us now discuss the advantages of Python. The Python package index contains numerous third-party modules that make Python capable of interacting with most of the other languages and platforms. Python provides a large standard library which includes areas like internet protocols, string operations, web services tools and operating system interfaces. Many high use programming tasks have already been scripted into the standard library which reduces length of the code to be written significantly. Examples are NumPy for numerical calculations or Pandas for data analytics. Python language is developed under an OSI-approved open-source license, which makes it free to use and distribute, including for commercial purposes. Further, its development is driven by a community which collaborates for its code through hosting conferences and mailing lists, and provides for its numerous modules. Python offers excellent readability and uncluttered, simple-to-learn syntax, which helps beginners to utilize this programming language. Python has built-in lists and dictionary data structures which can be used to construct fast runtime data structures. Python has clean object-oriented design, provides enhanced process control capabilities and possesses strong integration and text processing capabilities, all of which contribute to the increase in its speed and productivity. Python is considered a viable option for building complex multi-protocol network applications. Python is a dynamically timed language, it is object-oriented language, it is portable and interactive, and it is portable across operating systems. Python finds its application in many fields. It is used to design GUI-based desktop applications such as image processing and graphic design applications, scientific and computational applications, and games. It is used to design web frameworks and web applications enterprise and business applications, operating system, and it is also used for language development and prototyping. Before we start programming, we need to have an interpreter to run our programs. There are several online interpreters available. They can be used to start programming without installing the interpreter. If you want to have Python on your system, there are many free interpreters available to run the Python script. You can download any interpreter of your choice. Let us now look at the input and the output functions. The input function first takes the input from the user and then evaluates the expression, which means Python automatically identifies whether the user entered a string or a number or a list. If the input provided is not correct, then either syntax error or exception is raised by Python. First, we ask the user to enter a number. Similarly, we ask the user to enter a name. The simplest way to produce output is by using the print function. This function converts the expression you pass into a string before writing to the screen. Let us print the values we had taken from the user. The output appears on the screen as the values we had taken from the user. Now let us print the type of the input value we had taken from the user. We must note one thing, whatever you enter as input, the input function converts it into a string. If you enter an integer value, still the input function will convert it into a string. You need to explicitly convert it into an integer in your code using typecasting. The print function can accept multiple arguments. These arguments can be separated from each other using a separator. These are primarily used for formatting multiple statements in a single print function. By default, the separator in Python is space.
The end keyword is used to specify the content that is to be printed at the end of the execution of the print function. By default, it is set to slash n which leads to the change of line after the execution of the print function. A block can be regarded as a grouping of statements for a specific purpose. One of the distinctive features of Python is its use of indentation to highlight the blocks of code. Python relies on indentation using white space to define scope, such as the scope of loops, functions, and classes. Other programming languages often use curly brackets for this purpose. Now we move on to understand what exactly we mean by scope. Scope refers to the coding region from which a particular Python object is accessible. Hence, one cannot access any particular object anywhere from the code. The accessing has to be allowed by the scope of the object. Comments in Python are of two types, single line comment and multi line comment. Python single line comment starts with a hashtag symbol with no white spaces. This is an example of a single line comment. Python multi line comment is a piece of text enclosed in a delimiter on each end of the comment. Again, there should be no white space between the delimiter. This is an example of a multi line comment. Including appropriate comments that are relevant and useful increase the readability of the code and make it easier to understand. A Python identifier is a name used to identify a variable, function, class, module, or other object. An identifier starts with a letter uppercase A to Z or lowercase A to Z or an underscore, followed by zero or more letters, underscores, and digits. Python does not allow the punctuation characters such as at the rate, dollar sign, and percentage within identifiers. Python is a case sensitive programming language. Reserved words, also called keywords, have predefined meaning and syntax in the language. Reserved words can't be used as identifiers for other programming elements like name of the variable, function, etc. Variables are nothing but reserved memory locations to store values. This means that when you create a variable, you reserve some space in memory. Based on the data type of a variable, the interpreter allocates memory and decides what can be stored in the reserved memory. Python variables do not need explicit declaration to reserve memory space. The declaration happens automatically when you assign a value to a variable. The equal sign is used to assign values to variables. Python allows you to assign a single value to several variables simultaneously. For example, here an integer object is created with the value 1 and all three variables are assigned to the same memory location. You can also assign multiple objects to the multiple variables. The data stored in memory can be of many types. Here two integer objects with value 1 and 2 are assigned to variables a and b and one string object with the value john is assigned to variable c. Python has five standard data types, numbers, string, list, tuple, and dictionary. Python supports four different numerical types, int, long, float, and complex. Strings in Python are identified as contiguous set of characters represented in quotation marks. Python allows for either pairs of single or double quotes. Subsets of string can be taken using the slice operator and with indexes starting at 0 in the beginning of the string and working their way to minus 1 at the end. The plus sign is the string concatenation operator and the asterisk is the repetition operator. Let us take an example.
Operators are the constructs which can manipulate the value of the operands. Python language supports the following types of operators: arithmetic, comparison, assignment, logical, bitwise, membership, and identity operator. Python arithmetic operators include addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, modulus, exponent, and floor division. Python comparison operators include equal to, not equal to, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. Python assignment operators include assignment, add and subtract and multiply and divide and modulus and exponent and flow division and Python logical operators include logical and logical or logical not Python binary operators include binary and binary or binary xor binary ones complement binary left shift binary right shift Python membership operators include in and not in Python identity operators include is and is not